Welcome to the funniest LeBron James story that you've ever heard. As part of this 23 part collection of 23 LeBron James videos in 23 weeks, we are bringing you this video. It's a story that you may have heard already, but you've never heard it quite like this. In this video, we get each NBA player that was involved in this story, who tell their version of this story. And I promise you that you will be filled with laughter by the end of the video. So if this is the first video that you've seen, welcome. There is a link on the top right of your screen and in the description box down below that has each LeBron James video that we have done thus far. As always, if you enjoy the video, please help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 1,500 likes for the next episode. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, full credit to every podcast, interview, clip, and highlight. They are on the screen right now, link down below, so be sure to watch them in their entireties. But a special mention to JJ Reddick's podcast, The Old Man and the Three, and Jeff Teague's podcast, which is the Club 520 podcast. So the video editing that was involved in this production was to bring the story to life, to show you what happened, to show you the highlights, and to bring you back to this specific moment, which I guarantee will make you laugh. So without further ado, I don't want to keep you guys waiting, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. You guys were the best regular season team. I know one year, you guys had like, what, four mm -hmm. starting lineup was, was, was in the All-Star game together one year? <laughs> yeah. My favorite team was uh, our team in Atlanta that won 60 games. Like, hands down, that was my favorite team. Like, we just, it was, um, there was a purity to that team that, like, the inner Kyle just so appreciated. They used to like, it'd be a different leading score. Nah, they used to oh, really, used to really move the ball. He used to really run it's, the show. And then nah, Jeff used to I used to really hate, run the show. He used to, I used to hate playing them. Nah, do you feel like you guys should have won a championship? Obviously LeBron James came in the way, but did you, do you feel like you guys should have won the ring one of these years? Mm, I'm gonna say, I thought we could have made it to the finals. I thought we could beat LeBron and them, but everybody started getting hurt. Seven that was LeBron's best year. Was that, LeBron? that was the most unstoppable LeBron James that year. We had a game. In buckets. We had Where a game. Where did he leave? Okay, you locked Kyrie had tore his shit. I think it was that year he had tore his shit. Oh, okay. And we had a game, and I think I had gave Della Dova like something crazy. Scott trying to get it to Cheek. He does have a hot, beautiful backdoor play. Atlanta hitting on eight threes. Cheek fires, and he knocks down a three. People are not watching the first half. They want to bring everybody up to bed. Jets. Cheek. Played by Thompson. Goes right at him. And he scores. Cheek met by James. Here's Cheek getting the step going high off glass. A minute 40 to go. T on the drive went right at Thompson because Thompson did not want to foul. I was like, it's going to be a long fucking night. He was yeah, like, can you wild. score more than me, nigga? That's how he be talking. It'd be nice and loud. And I was like, this is a, 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 a mindset I've never seen. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Nova told you that? No, bro. Oh, oh. About, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yo, look, I'll, I'll boost you in the crowd, feel about it. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quit. bro. I'm like, well, you got to show me. I've, I've seen a, a point guard talk trash to him. And instead of like feeling like you can't go at the point guard, he'll really make it like, oh, you want to make the game about you? Cool. I, I, had, I averaged 18. <laughs> Pushed his way. Off the high dribble, two-ball, bucket, serving up a facial. I have an 18 that series, man. Probably like 38. Oh, oh my God. James putting a move on baseball and scores. She never the steal is made by LeBron, and he saw Atlanta. They have really been terrible as LeBron James with his spin move in the post. Being played here by Millsap, shoots over him, and hits. Man, I ain't had enough for Brian, Oh, man. my what God. What the fuck I was talking about? Man. 19 points, easily his best game of the series. James yeah. able to slither his way through it. 13-2 run here by the Hawks. James to the bucket. Game two. Millsap getting a little too close to half court. Let's see if he stays back and let LeBron come to him. And here comes James, and he goes glass. 37 points. Look at the exhaustion. By LeBron as well as T. I mean, LeBron left everything out here on the floor tonight. And the Cleveland Cavaliers pull it out in overtime to take a 3-0 lead. I'm, I'm not even debating it. That, that LeBron, 
was unstoppable. He was yeah. showing like how like like he showed the physicality that year of like niggas can't really like physically guard me. What was your issue when you pushed LeBron, bro? Why you do that? Cleveland team play. I thought Sermon Lewis said it to his best. They've got two of the best one on one. Oh, look out, look out, look out. And James. Call it a body check. Right here. Yeah, no, I call I count it. What happened oh, no, here? Jeff, you'd have, got, you'd have got 10 games if this was. <laughs> I ain't get nothing. I ain't get a fine or nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you'd have got 10 games for that shove. That's your limitation. Yeah. So you're the good now. Oh, uh, yeah. Dray Draymond would have been proud of you, boy. It's assault these days. I, I was out of pocket, bro. I was you, out of pocket. Oh. Why'd you do it? We was losing. Shit, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> fuck he was beat my eye when a playoff game against that nigga ever. I was sick of the shit. The defending Eastern Conference champion Cleveland Cavaliers look to take a 3-0 series lead on the number four team. Welcome to Atlanta and welcome to game three of this 2016 Eastern Conference semifinal. The Cavs and the Hawks. LeBron James, every time he's been up 2-0 in a series, he's advanced trying to keep that going as well. Game three coming up from Atlanta, but first to our studio. And a good evening to Sage Steele. We weren't the most talented. We weren't the best you know, we didn't have a person to get, give the ball to and say, make this happen at the end of a big playoff game. We didn't have that person. But that was the most gratifying team that I've ever been on. Um, just really, really fun. What year was that? Oh, seven, 16, 17. Yeah, you was uh -huh. in Toronto, and we was talking about him. See, I would have mm -hmm. fucked with you, though, if you would win, because you would have replaced uh, No More. Damn, we should get him. That nigga guard Bron. We couldn't yeah. fuck with Bron. All right, yeah. We couldn't All fuck with Bron. Right. To be fair, nobody could. I respect it. Yeah, All but right. I was like, Man, during that time, it was nobody. Listen, nah, was nobody boy. fucking nobody with Bron. Nobody could but guard Bron. You said you could compete. I can, I can fight fuck. him. I can fight him. Yeah, bro, so yeah, he ain't give a fuck about guarding Bron. Right. Yeah. yeah it was so whatever. I, I, yeah. At this time, I feel like I'm like, yeah, we got five niggas to guard Bron. We get Bron. Everybody. Nope. On the right, Atlanta has made a change. Pablo Cephalucha in the starting lineup. Kyle Korver out for the Hawks, who Lisa Salter is trying to find some way to climb back in this thing at home. Oh. Great dive by James, met by Millsap, absorbs the contact and score. Name primary defense, James on the attack. And Jefferson makes four. Look at that. Great dive mm. by James. And they're only six ahead. I tell you, you got to tell. so you just got to give him a lot. Of no problem taking him inside. LeBron. LeBron has 14 on the 11 board. Can't stop work. Space for LeBron to get to the rim oh. and throw it down. Did you understand the the ment his his sort of mental dominance? You certainly feel it playing against him. But it's like anything else. When you see it up close on the person on the other side, you see, understand why he remembers all the plays. It's just there's a whole other level that he goes to in his preparation, especially for the teams that he, you know, wants to go up against. Well, you know, you said before that dunk right there, where is LeBron? It's one thing to get to the top. It's another thing to stay there. Like just the, I think what makes him great, his greatest attribute is his ability to do it again tomorrow. 14 before that dunk. Yes, 16. Like, definitely Corbett gets it right there. It's out of this world. Like it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, Hubie, we talked about this earlier in the series and we talked about it with Mike Budenholzer. LeBron who lines it up and knocks it down to give the Cavaliers the lead. Here's the clear out. Gotta be ready for the double. James over Cephalosha. LeBron James. James on the move. Basket bound. He gets fouled by Baysmore. He was getting, they, you know how Atlanta is. They cheer for him. I said, but hell no. Nah. I was hating. <laughs> Show to check this shit out there, nigga. He went to the stairs. I, I feel, saw that shit. Oh, my nigga. I, I got so I much can. hate mail. I'm here saying if he would have been hurt. I would have killed you, bitch. I'm like, hey, yo, I got to get off the internet. That's when I first deleted Instagram. <laughs> that was my first time to deleted Instagram. I knew this was my last game for the Hawks, though, by the way. So I'll this Oh, that is good. He left with a bang. <laughs> That's legend. Oh, definitely. Hey, they be talking about the internet. It was just like, well, why did he do? I was pissed. They got two of the best one on one. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Oh, we saw. And the nigga was <laughs> motherfucking fans in Atlanta cheering for him. He running down the court. I said, you know what, bitch? I got something for you. <laughs> Show to check this shit out there, nigga. How about the push by Jeff Teague just there that sent you into the fans? You cool with that? Uh, I'm okay. I mean, at the end of the day, all I care about is the game. I'm just happy I didn't hurt a fan down there or hurt myself. Uh, I feel good. I went to go check on the fans down there. They're okay, so I'm good. All right, 
right, thanks. Congratulations on the win. All right, thanks, Mr. 66 points, second half from the Cleveland Cavaliers, a team playing quality basketball and very galvanized. I mean, you could switch on a guy like him. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. I'm 175 pounds. <laughs> With LeBron James, it has always been about the King. Togetherness, teamwork, and the best Cleveland crew around LeBron has put the Cavaliers on the brink of another sweep. And today, they take a shot to make the conference finals again. No set, guarding James. LeBron with a step back, knocks down. The outside shot, he has both of his field goals good, plus a couple of assists so far. Every single season. And then LeBron with a head of steam. Schroeder gives the foul up top. Continuation, LeBron has the chance for the three-point play. And the Atlanta fans disagree. Love oh, tries that home run out and oh. hits James. Man, uh, he... He just had an, another gear that um, I feel like individually, you know, you couldn't reach um, that level that he got to. Last decade, James hits the three. Just that gear that he kicks it to. I mean, there's just, it's not a lot of people that can do that. And, you know, that, that there's a reason why he's, you know, he's one of the greats. And then LeBron being the player he is, he just started figuring this out. He's like, Jeff T can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm just going to make him guard me, pick and roll. And it was over with. Kyrie, come set this ball screen. Kyrie has set the ball screen. LeBron will come off it fast, pull it out. And now this point guard got to guard LeBron because he know y'all switching. And you're just like, Come here every time. Fucking Bron. <laughs> Fucking Bron. <laughs> it's exploitation. <laughs> You're exploiting, and some sometimes it's maybe basketball IQ. Sometimes you're maybe exploiting a matchup. You've now got a favorable matchup. Part of it is not just so that you can get a shot. Part of it, like basketball, boils down to: can you put two on the ball? Yeah. And now you create the four on three on the backside. Yeah. LeBron comes across, all the attention comes his way, and love. Everyone thinks just because you get a favorable matchup that it means it's one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, this, it's five on five. And yes, if you have an opportunity to have a favorable matchup and you can beat your man, not only is the guy that's been dominating the one-on-one -on -one matchup making the right reads individually in that matchup, he's been scoring. How about switching him? James on the attack. Able to finish that time. He's been getting fouled. Pelosha, Boston. Uh, he's been drawing attention. 15 for LeBron. I tell you, in game three and again today, he's had it on the perimeter. It's Irving, Kyrie. Uh, but now you're seeing the double, and now his teammates are making shots too. And the momentum shifts. The, the offensive team, there's nothing they can do wrong. Off to shoot a free throw. He shot all 10 of them. Oh, Love man. again. Did. Love comes to the corner, challenged by Cephalosha, but it doesn't matter. Most great teams are going to send help. Can you make the right reads? Can you instill confidence in your teammates to win? You've scored twice on that favorable matchup. Do you know that the double is coming? And can you make the right reads? Free throw. He shot all 10 of them. Love again. His mindset of... You want to play X's and O's, I'll play whatever chess game you want and I'll beat you is incredible because no other athlete does that to me. <laughs> and that's why you lose to Braun because Braun will play your game. He's playing your game. He's just going to beat you at it. And that's weird. <laughs> when he went back to Cleveland, those first um, two, two years, so like that four year period, I believe that's when he was, um, he, he's still unbelievable. But that's that, I believe that's when he was at his peak. Um, those last two years in Miami and the first two in Cleveland. Players, shot clock at two. James Jack, jumper, got it, oh. LeBron! I tell you, he's been outstanding today with the clock going down. And it's over! And the Cavaliers have swept the Hawks. And Cleveland 
is back in the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, they gave us everything they had these last two games, and I'm happy our guys showed up and we was able to represent the way uh, we know how to play Cavs basketball. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help me out by hitting that like button, subscribe if you are new, and here are two new LeBron James videos that I think that you will also enjoy. So be sure to check them out, and I'll catch you guys next time. Okay.